good day next we will look at cassidy and os theorem of loads or cassidy and os first theorem so, uh, this is also called as a principle of complementary energy so we will see in its definition and its derivation on, on its de derivation we will see in its derivation that it is uh, derived on the basis of complementary theory so this is applicable only for a linear elastic material so not for any general material it is applicable for a defined this theorem is defined for linear elastic material for lean, as i have said in the previous video we for linear elastic material strain energy and complementary strain energy that we used to be to be easier so we have seen that u0 can be expressed as a function of strains that is u0 is equal to u0 of epsilon so it is a function of displacement. Although, although it can be seen as a function of stresses, it's usually represented as a function of displacement. So that's complementary strain energy is a function as it represents as a function of stresses. So we know that stresses are linked to low At least these stresses are linked to low. Thus complementary strain energy is usually represented as a so we look at the definition of complementary strain energy that is if in a elastic system if an elastic, if an elastic system is supported so that the rigid body displacements of the system are prevented and if Certain concentrated force magnitude F1, F2, etc., Fp, as in system, in addition to distributed loads and thermal strain, then the displacement component, components Qi of the application of the force Fi is determined by Qi is equal to rho C by rho Fi. So, what it boils down as if I have a system in which the, there are no rigid body displacements that is uh, it's not a system that is it's not a machine or it's not a mechanism that uh, when, we, when we apply a force it moves if it is restrained and if, if we apply if it has uh, certain concentrated forces on it and certain other loads like torques or distributed loads or thermal strains etc then if we want to find a displacement due to a particular load in that direction of load then we just have to find the complementary strain energy and take its different and differentiate that complementary strain energy with respect to that particular load that will give us the deflection in the part in that particular direction due to that loop. So QI would be the displacement, rho C or C would be the complementary strain energy, phi is a load, here we differentiate or we take the portion differential complementary strain energy with respect to that particular load. So uh, the derivation of complementary strain energy is suppose that we have a particular system in which we have applied many loads like F1, F2, F3, etc. to Fn and system is in equilibrium. So we have supports, so the system is in equilibrium due to the application of Suppose that we increase a particular uh, load by a fraction or, or by a small amount delta Fn. So we increase Fn by a small fraction of delta Fn. So before we apply strain, the body will have complementary strain energy, which will be a function of these loads. So after application of this infinitesimal factor or infinitesimal load 
the strain energy will change and the change in strain energy can be put in this fashion that is rho c by rho f n dx so the uh, new strain energy complementary strain energy will be the same so first of all we remove our load and we apply the small load dfn first and due to this dfn there is a deflection small deflection of delta n then after that we apply all the loads so the energy and complementary uh, complementary strain energy and strain energy are not affected by the order which the loads are applied they are only affected by their final values so what we can see is due to this application of the load that happen the energy the complementary strain energy would be dfn delta n and due to the application of these load this complementary strain energy will be equal to c so this will be the final complementary strain energy if we apply dfn delta dfn load first then all the loads and this one will be the strain energy if we apply the loads first then this load so they both have to be the same if we equate them the cc cancel out what we what will be what is left with or what we are left with is this thing so this in the de definition we have given this qi yeah i can write this q n so do c by do f n is equal to delta n or q n when you do u by do f n because uh, for linear elastic materials is equal to u and right in this fashion so it's called as the plastic line of first theorem the plastic line of theorem of loads on the comp uh, the principle of complementary energy.